Get together, you two. <laughs> there we go. That's the color enhancer. So you guys here ready for ready for the the deal of the day? What they did. Would you guys get a little bit closer together? Oh, we have yeah. to. No, I get to kiss my brother. No. Okay, now we're recording. Now I'm going to put the light on. Okay, now I'm going to say, uh, say I, I want a, a snapshot of it. And there's the snapshot. Hmm. Now it'll go back into pause in a second. <laughs>
Christ calls you to in union with him and with one another. And I ask you now in the presence of God and this congregation to declare your intent. Evelyn, is it your intent to have this man to be your husband to live together in holy marriage? You love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and health, forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. And so answer, I will. Jim, is it your intention to have this woman to be your wife to live together in holy marriage? You love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and health, forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. If so, answer, I will. The marriage of Jim and Evelyn unites two families and creates a new one. And so they ask for your blessing this day. If you remember my first words, I said, we are gathered here together to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. And that literally is what takes place. You walk down an aisle, surrounded by family and friends who cared and loved for them throughout the years. They come here and, and we do something. There are no spectators at a wedding. Everybody is a participant. I will end up signing the license because the government says I need to. And nonetheless, we all here today are helping these two people cross an important uh, threshold in life to acknowledge something that's existed for a while now, and to move them into a new direction. Let me then will ask you, will all of you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for these two persons in their marriage? If so, say, we will. We will. Let us pray. God of all people, we do rejoice in your light in the midst of our lives. You are the true light that illumines everyone. You show us the way truth and the life and you love us even when we are unfaithful you're always sustaining us with your holy spirit and we praise you for your presence with us especially in this act of solemn covenant through jesus christ our lord amen i want to share with you a, a brief section from saint paul's letter to the colossians i wasn't exactly ready to you if you didn't know you were getting married you sent a note a long time ago I lived. But he was writing about what they're, what they're doing. And we understand in Christian marriage what a couple is doing is declaring to the rest of the world that we are going to live our life, our relationship on a different basis. This is the basis of love and humility. And in order to do that, we've got to put on some things. And Paul suggests this. He says, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, Clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Now bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against the other, forgive each other just as the Lord has forgiven you. And above all these things, clothe yourselves with love, which binds together everything in perfect harmony. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you're called into one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. Teach and advise one another in all wisdom. With gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And here is then the reading of the scripture. As I said, Paul is writing about a community that's beginning, something brand new, and is set, in a sense, the tone for marriages in the future. One of the things the Christian church did very early on as it began to gain prominence and power in the ancient world was to change certain laws, change certain relationships. And this was one of the key relationships they went about changing, saying that as people come to get married in Christ, what they're really doing is saying, the rest of the world, that we're going to uh, embark on a, a great experiment here that will last a long, long time. And we don't quite have it perfectly worked out yet, uh, but uh, we've got something in common. We have profound care for one another. We trust one another. We trust each other so much. We're willing to share our lives in, in an intimate fashion. We're willing to go into the future together. 
And we're going to build this basis on, on love and humility. And Paul said, that's wonderful. However, in order to help that a bit, we've got to have a few garments to wear. And that's all that stuff about kindness, compassion, and humility. As we practice these things amongst ourselves, we find in an incredible way that the bond of energy, which love is, continues to grow and develop throughout the years. And then, as God intended, spills out into all the people that are around us. It's obvious today that you've got a lot of love. You can feel that feeling and emotion kind of moving through the, the congregation. Um, and it's obvious that the folks that are here today care profoundly about these, these folks here today. That's what God had in mind. A sense of coming together in Christian community where people uh, will share an, an incredible event together, which this is here, will celebrate that event in the post reading uh, hoopla that will take place, and will then spend the rest of their life building a future, representing to the rest of the world what God wants to see. People living together in love and humility. It's an exciting day, and it's a privilege to be here, especially for you guys. Let us pray. Gracious God, bless now this man and woman who come to join in marriage, that they may give their vows to each other in the strength and spirit of your steadfast love. Let the promise of your word take root and grow in their lives. Grant them vision and hope to persevere in trust and friendship all of their days. Keep ever before them the needs of the world. And by your grace, enable them to be true disciples of Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen.
Someone will be upset this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my God. All that I am. And all that I have. I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Can we accept this ring? I give you this ring as a sign of my God. All that I am and all that I have, I honor you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You declare your consent and vows before God in this congregation. May God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. Now that Jim and Evelyn have given themselves to each other, the sacred vows, the joining of hands, and the giving of rings, I pronounce to you that they are husband and wife together, in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those to whom God hath joined together, then, that no one they're separate. One of the first acts that they would like to do as a married couple, a young married couple, <laughs> uh, is to, and they're very, very old, is to invite the congregation to, in a sense, join with them in a first prayer as a married couple, a prayer that's very familiar. Let us be in an attitude of prayer as we hear the Lord's Prayer sung. The eternal God keep you in love with each other so that the peace of Christ may stay with you and always be in your home. 
May your children bless you, your friends console you, and all live in peace with you. May you always bear witness to the love of God in this world, that those to whom love is a stranger will find in you generous friends. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. It is my pleasure then to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. James and Evelyn Brayfield.
Don't move. Come on, let's get a picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get the back. You want a picture back here? Yes. Yes, <laughs> Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Not in my way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah? Okay. Or Here when Diamonds had it? Yeah. I don't know. A lot, a lot, a lot of it was. You couldn't Maybe prove it by me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hey, Sonia. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't, don't worry about me. No, you're in the you're in the picture. Oh. They would like a picture of you. I'm gonna get one. Jim, have you cleaned your mess? Jim, have you cleaned your mess up yet? What was that, Jim? Was that a crack in the table? Was that your the crack in the table that caused that? Yeah, Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. <laughs> Evelyn, did you show them how to clean that up? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Only half of you are here. I'm going to have to come back to you guys. <laughs> So, Jim, what have you got to say for yourself? It's been a very nice day. Good. All my loved ones are here, and it's really nice. Okay, now what I want to know is when your son is going to have his little speech. <laughs> is it going to be now? <laughs> have you sweated enough? Now, you, if you get you know, this over with, enough early or yeah, really. else. if you get this over with, just think you'll be all back to normal. <laughs> Okay, now let's. Yeah, you had your exam last week. Are you, are you, really? are you ready? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Are you ready? Talk about you wanna, pressure. You wanna, you wanna take a seat? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah go take a seat next to your Just darling. Is that one here? Yeah. 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 Evelyn, you gotta go sit down with. All right. That's pressure. I'm like the camera right in front of us. I'm gonna have it on them in a minute. I'm gonna have it on them in a minute. You should like go off. I'm gonna pretend. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Where are they? Um, Dad, I wanted to thank you for asking me to be your best man. It's an honor and privilege. Um, I hope you had a wonderful day. Um, it's a beautiful day to have a wedding. Um, I wanted to thank you for all the help, all the caring you've had growing up. You've taught me a lot. You're still teaching me. You taught me today that you can get in front of a big group of people and, and cry. <laughs> Stop, I know. <laughs> that was nice. Um, Evelyn, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, I'm happy, Dad, for you that you could find someone. Someone who's intelligent, articulate, caring, and uh, you guys complement each other very well. Um, I'd like to welcome you to our family, and I look forward to getting to know your family better. And uh, I guess at this time, let's raise our glasses and toast to Jim and Evelyn. Congratulations. Raise one for me, honey.
Which one? Raise one for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. That's beautiful. I must say, you did one heck of a job. I hear you were worried about this I'm all this time. Holy cow. Well, I'm moved by it too. I'm cheering all over this camera. So now are you going to say something? You're kidding. Okay, Lori, what do you got to say? Go ahead, Lori. I'm waiting. You got. We got to have something to say. I thought so too. I thought you did a hell of a job. You have a you have a fear of the camera. Oh my gosh! Here comes the dessert. Oh, uh -oh look at that dessert. Yeah, it was pretty good. Did you hear it? What? I told him I wanted to wait. You can put him on the spot. Do we have a tape? Yeah. You want to hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stop. Thank you.
Well, our burning bush is finally red, and it goes so nice with that white car. And there's my darling coming out of the car after the wedding. Honey, wait a minute. Don't go away. Get in front of the car. Stand in front of the driver's seat there. Huh? Stand in front of the car so I can get the color of your... Come on, over farther. Over farther. Over farther? Yeah, there you go. Whose car is that? Mine. Did you say I can drive it? Yes. Okay. Anytime your little heart desires. And it's your car, right? Okay, let's see if I get that in your eyes there. Yeah, I guess she's right. <laughs> 